Hi guys, Every Knife Guy here, and today I want to accomplish two things with this video. First of all, we're going to take a look at this PowerAd external battery pack that I was sent to do a review on. And secondly, we're going to take a look at the electronics and electronics related products and batteries and things that I carry around with me in my everyday EDC bag. Uh, you may have seen a video I did last week which was kind of getting into my EDC packs and the things that I take around with me in my EDC backpack. And one of the elements of that, of course, these days is unavoidably electronics. So I thought we'd talk a little bit about that and maybe continue that discussion as I try to piece together what my new EDC kit is going to look like. So if you haven't seen that video, do go back and watch it. It gives you a bit of information on what I carry. But today we're going to focus specifically on electronics. First of all, look at this and then we'll go through quickly uh, what I carry around. So do stick around for that. Okay, so as I mentioned, I was sent this product for review, and as you can probably tell, there, this is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but you can also see a bunch of scratches and scuffs on it. I have been testing this out over the last couple of weeks, and now I can give you my thoughts on it. This is, if you're not familiar with these products, this is basically an external battery pack. Uh, it has USB connections on it there, and this is basically extra juice for any device you may have, whether it's a cell phone, iPad... Uh, GPS, I guess, um, anything basically that can use UPS, uh, UPS, USB power. Um, so very handy thing to have. I actually carry one of these already, and I'll show you the cable that I carry with it. This is the one that I have had for probably about 18 months now. This is a JetTech product, and I believe that JetTech has now actually become power out. I might be wrong with that, but from my Amazon research, these basically seem to be the same. Uh, same company now, or maybe they've changed the name, whichever it is. So, first of all, a quick look at the one that I carry normally. You can see the specs on the bottom there. It's a 10,000 milliamp hour, that's MAH. 10,000 milliamp hour uh, capacity, which for this size of um, unit, which as you can see is fairly bulky, uh, quite heavy, is pretty typical. Um, you can see it has an input there, 5, five volts, 2 amps, an output 5 volt, 1 amp, and 5 volt, 2.1 amps. So if you look at this end, You'll see there we have an in for your uh, your business end of your USB. You have a USB 2 connection for a 1 amp outlet output and a 2.1 amp output. So you have that fast chargeability on this. Uh, power button there and also a nice feature with this is you do have a little uh, mini flashlight on the end there. So if I, I'm just going to show you this one quickly first. So you can see a couple of little blue LEDs there. This one's pretty low on charge. Um, and it needs to be charged up, but I just wanted to show you this first before we go and look at this new one today. This one here, about $16 on Amazon.com and completely indispensable bit of kit. Um, I just hold down the on-off button to turn this off and you'll see the lights flash and go off. It will automatically turn itself off and as I say, it's completely indispensable bit of kit in this day and age. I use it all the time. My wife steals it out of my bag to use it all the time. Uh, if you're traveling, you know, you can go away for an overnight stay with one of these and have more than enough power to charge a couple of cell phones. We'll get into actual capacities later, but more than enough power to charge, say, an iPad and a cell phone for your overnight. No need to worry about a charger or anything like that or finding a power outlet or anything. So also great for stuff like airports where you may not have access to a USB charging point or to an actual power outlet to plug in your charger. One of these with you this will more than uh, see you through a long journey, even if you're going halfway around the world. So let's uh, reel this back in and come to the product we're actually looking at today. This is a power add unit, as I mentioned. And as you can see on the back there is the same capacity as the one that I uh, carry currently. Uh, 10,000 mAh. This has a 5 volt 2.1 amp input and it actually has 2 by 2.4 amp 5 volt output. So on this end you can see yet again we have the single input there and two USB 2 outputs. Both of these putting out a, a fast charge or a high rate current uh, which is very useful for a quick charge on your electronics. I do find uh, in my experience this one seems to take quite a bit longer to charge up uh, than my existing one. I'm not sure why that would be um, but the, you know they're both pretty comparable in performance. You charge them up, you plug it into your device, it charges it up. What more do you want, really? Uh, this one has an on-off button here on the front, which I find to be a little bit less useful than the one that I have. Let me just show you. Uh, the on-off button here, if you remember, is on the end, which I find... Actually, I store this vertically in my backpack, so I find this tends to get knocked on less than this one. Any kind of side impact will turn that on. It'll start to to uh, run down but it will actually auto turn itself off so it's not a huge deal. Uh, the LEDs are a little less visible on this one but they are quite discreet which is nice so you have one two three four bars. Um, I will plug this in to charge. You can see it's not fully charged currently so you can see how it looks when it's charging. Uh, get my USB here and 
Let's plug that in then, and you'll see that, that as soon as you plug it in, you'll see the lights run up one to four, and then it will show you the last uh, the last part that's charging. It's actually saying it's charging cell three. That must not be full, and then four. These will flash, and once it's fully charged, you'll have four uh, blue LEDs on, so you know it's charged. Obviously, when you plug it into your device, you will see those flashing as it goes down until it is dead. Um, so 10,000 mAh, uh, just to give you an idea, the Samsung Galaxy S6 I'm recording this on has a 2550 mAh battery. So you've got enough juice in here, in theory, to charge that um, at least three, sort of three and three quarters to four times, which is pretty impressive. Um, I think these devices, particularly these Chinese-made devices that are rated by the manufacturer, are probably a little bit like the uh, traditional problem with hard disk drives, if you're familiar with that. Uh, like a 10 gig hard drive will never give you 10 gigs of capacity because it's never, you know, it never allows that full uh, the full capacity as stated. But I imagine that's kind of the case with these. But uh, worst case scenario, um, you're going to have at least enough for probably three and a half uh, plus uh, charges of a cell phone. I will put on screen here as I talk about this um, a few other popular devices and their size of batteries so you can get an idea of how many charges you may be able to do. Uh, quite a sleek design this one, I'll move it over this side so you can see, I'll put up those um, ratings for batteries over here. Uh, yeah, you can see it's quite a sleek design, um, I don't know if I prefer it over my existing one. Do a quick size comparison, bear in mind these are the same amount of capacity, so my existing one is quite a bit smaller. This has a more rounded form, particularly on the ends, um, but you can see there, there is a bit of a size difference. This one, the one that I carry currently is a little bit thicker, which doesn't really matter to me too much. Um, you know, they're, they're pretty much the same, uh, not too much to say about that. They're both around about six, fifteen, sixteen dollars on Amazon.com at the moment, and about 20 something on Amazon.ca. I'll put links to both, in, I'll put links to the .com ones in the description below for you. You can see they're assembled in China, designed in California, allegedly. So I'll put that over there and just show you what it comes with. This is the box, pretty simple. Uh, power add tells you the specs there, lithium polymer battery cell 10,000 mAh. Micro input, uh, blah, blah, blah. And inside the box we get uh, this little, uh, well, I'll show you the first, this little stubby uh, USB cable, which is just about the right size for carrying around with one of these, actually. So this is the one I keep with uh, that new pack. Inside we have a manual, all pretty self-explanatory, but I'll hold it up for you anyway. Thanks for your purchase. And it tells you there about the outputs, functions, specifications. I'll, I'll just hold this up here and you can pause that and read if you wish. But they're pretty standard these, and as I say, they've become a super popular item. Uh, you know, daily electronics, cell phones, um, tablets, etc. have just become so omnipresent in our life. Uh, these kind of things to give you a bit of extra juice without the extra bulk of a battery case um, or having to lug around a charger it just uh, makes all the difference and they're, they're so popular and so cheap now that, that I don't really see why you wouldn't have one if you have a, a cell phone or something like that so uh, nice little leaflet in there we're just happy that you're pleased with both product and service you received let us know about your experience on Amazon and on the back it says not happy so I guess you open that to this side and it says contact their support so quite nice that they included that so they are checking that you are happy with the product and I'll, making it a little easier for you to find a solution if uh, if for some reason you're not happy or you get one that's malfunctioning or something uh, I had no issues with mine works straight out of the box does exactly what it says it's going to do and pretty simple product but does exactly what it says in the tin so you can't really ask for more than that so I think without further ado we'll put this to the side Okay, so the electronics equipment is pretty basic that I carry around my EDC backpack, which if you've caught the last video, you'll know that I usually, uh, well, I, I always have it with me at work and very often have it in uh, kind of my personal or spare time as well. So in there we have the 10,000 uh, mAh battery pack that we just talked about. This is the original one before I got the new one to do a review on. So this has been with me for the last 18 months or so. Very, very useful. Gets used all the time, both in the house and out and about. Uh, this is not, these are not Beats headphones, these are just an old case. In here I have just a very basic pair of backup uh, Panasonic earbuds. I will very often have uh, a better set with me, depending on what I'm doing or uh, what my day-to-day -day is. But these just stay in my EDC bag as a backup pair, and also if I, if I can't find mine at home, they will get pulled out. So those are only you know, a few bucks for a very basic pair. Sound quality is not awesome, but it's good enough to, to hear things and keep it private if you need to. Uh, I have this little low pro pack which as you can see is quite stuffed and this is what I keep for batteries. 
Um, I should mention I do have this USB uh, um, USB 2 cable here connected to the battery pack at all times. I also have in here, well let's look at that first, in that compartment here I have a standard uh, wall outlet USB 2 charger, LG one, let's come with a phone I think at some time, but I quite like the style of this, it's nice and slim and pretty um, universal for any kind of outlets we find here in Canada. Um, I have this little daffodil cord. I used to have a few of these, but they do tend to break. There's a spring in here, and basically it's a retractable cord. You can see this one seems to still be working okay, uh, but unfortunately, yeah, you can see there, it is getting sticky. The little spring in here that uh, does the retracting the cord can tend to fail over time, but these are very handy little things. Uh, USB on that end, and on this end we have the little US, uh, we have the large um, style, I don't know if they call it a micro or a mini or whatever, but that large, thicker style. Uh, USB input. We then have um, a regular style, or sorry, yeah, is that, let's compare it with this one. Uh, yeah, regular style, and the I, I'm missing one off here. We have a large uh, Apple connector on there, but I do actually have the small Apple connector. I'm not sure where that is, and it basically uh, fits in here between this one and this one. Uh, not too sure where that is right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I need to look for that actually. So yeah, I do normally have uh, an up-to-date, uh, I think it's Lightning still, they call it the, the up-to-date Apple connector, even though I, the only Apple product I use is an iPad. And usually that is charged at home, not on the move. But uh, as you can see there, for iPhone, micro USB it says actually. Uh, micro USB and mini USB is what they call the thicker one. So that's what I have in the back there. I'll leave that out just now. And in the front compartment, I have two 18650 cells in this little silicon container. These are for uh, battery backup if need be, but mostly primarily for my EDC vape, uh, which takes two 18650s. So those are in there, and you know, obviously if, if it's not with me, then I tend to take these out, but those are in there. And in the back here, I just have a couple of AA cells. You can see a couple of energizers, and what else do we have? We have two more. And these are just cheapo uh, AAAs and contained in these very neat little um, capsules, which basically keeps them organized, but also uh, converts them into double A's. So in theory, you have four double A's in your pack if you need four double A's, or if you need to replace triple A's, you have that option too. Uh, it just makes things a little bit more flexible and gives you a few more options. So that's what I keep in there for batteries. And that is all in this little bag here. So. Uh, yeah, so guys, basically following on from my last uh, EDC dump video where I was asking you questions about what you think I need to have in my kit, what I should update, etc. Um, just wanted to get your thoughts. What do you carry around day to day in terms of this sort of stuff? Electronics, batteries, that sort of thing. And what do you think I'm missing? And I know this is very personal to what devices and uh, what sort of things you use, uh, your profession and what you do in your spare time, etc. But any ideas are welcome. And if you see anything you think is amiss here, do let me know. I'll get some discussion going in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for checking out this review and uh, EDC discussion. And I'll have more videos for you soon. Cheers and have a great day.